heads up. Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Just Taking looking bomb. The Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Seamanship. Or so I hear. <laughs> After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Mm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for her older men. That is nasty. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember. The conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sonny snagged off the net. You and bastard. Where data came from? DARPA. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming, too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of talking. Finally, I can play. Uh, when you start off, front flip over this thing. Navy SEALs, flip! When you flip over here, lay down up here, and take out that guy because he saw me. Bitch, go to sleep. Go to sleep. I'm gonna put you to bed. Go to bed. As soon as those dudes go to sleep, the rebel soldiers are gonna fight back. I didn't tell you to touch him. Go to sleep. Get the weapons and let's move. Bitch, you go to sleep too. Don't kick him. Grab the guns. Oh, they're locked. I forgot. Those dudes are just rocking them knives, and they're dying like retards. Don't shoot them, people. I need them. Go to sleep. Okay. So they're knocked out, more so. Uh, flip over here. Flip. I never could make this part, I don't know why. It sucks. But I mean, you're supposed to flip over here. But I always miss. Let's try. Watch me miss. Flip! I missed! That was whack. Alright, we'll go around the building. And there's a guy right around here. Somewhere. Blend in with the floor. Don't stand up, Snake. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, I need that night vision. See if there's... Yep, there he is. Go to sleep. Alright, he's out cold. Continue on. And stay low. I need to check something. Yay, Drebin Shop Woot. Um, controls audio. Wait, what am I doing? Display. Huh. Never mind. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh. Continue sneaking. Gerbil! 
Make a left. And stay on this side. And make sure you keep your night vision available. Because you're going to need it a lot. At the beginning part of this level. Because at the beginning it's dark. And then it turns the light later on. Like that guy. What? Go to sleep. Thank you. Bitch. That dude is dead, so you can take his gun. This dude is knocked out. You can take his gun. Teabag him. Bitch. Fuck the back of your head. Um. Wait, is there a dude coming? Keep going straight. And see that guy all the way up there? Put him to sleep. Good night. And there's a lot of, uh... What are those soldiers called? Rebel people coming. What happened? What? You you know who I am, dumbasses. I'm helping you. Who? Oh, you again. Get the fuck out the way, man. Go to sleep. You didn't make enemy nothing. Go to sleep. Thank you. Bitch, did put. Go to sleep. There's something wrong. No, there's nothing wrong. Report nothing. There's bussing. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, those two guys are asleep. Shit, they're sending in reinforcements. Ah, uh, here they come. But you can just stay low to the ground. They won't see you. You can put them to sleep. Bitches. Yeah, that's one sleep, and that's another one just dead. The rebels are on your side, don't have to worry about them. Back at the camp. Go to sleep. Back at the camp, there's. Ow! Oh! They're shooting the bodies and hit me in that. Stop shooting! Shit! Back at the. Ah! Why do they shoot right when I walk over their damn bodies? Uh, back at the camp, there is actually. A terrorist, what we call it's actually a terrorist suit that you can get. It's pointless. Like, when you ask Otacon about them, listen, never mind, hold on. I'll tell you after this, pay attention. Snake, there's someone on like oh, fuck that dude. I thought it was someone else. Um, a psychological counselor. When you get the suit, all Otacon tells you is that that's like just in case you kill a couple of, of battle. uh, what are they called? Rebels, you put on that suit so that they don't shoot at you. But wearing it actually gets you in more trouble than actually not wearing it. It's better to just watch where the hell you're shooting. Well, that's Rose from Metal Gear Solid 2. That was Raiden's girlfriend. This is Rosemary. And a she secret thingy Pentagon, about her is when you call her, not on this part, but in the future when you call her, if you shake the controller, her boobs jiggle. They After bounce. They be like bouncy. Psychology. Bouncy. And now she's a jiggle, jiggle. CSP, the but they don't jiggle now. Team. Damn, jiggle. Yeah, I hear psychological I told you to jiggle. Field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Yeah, she's your Since the passing psychotic of the new doctor. One of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Yep, and then you call his old ass again. Sight gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I a veteran know. soldier? They're just rubbed in that you're old as hell. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Yeah. Then the woman you married, the one that Meryl was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. It's fucked up. Jack from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember Ryden. <laughs> Rose. Oh, 